Hey guys, Steph, I hope you're all good. No, you are not reading the title of this video wrong. I am in fact doing a clothing haul. It's been a hot minute since I did one of these, but yeah, I've seen a whole load of things on Zara recently. I've seen loads of people on Instagram, and every time I've clicked on their outfits, it's just been Zara, Zara, Zara. So I was like, okay, you know what? I am gonna brave the Zara website because the Zara website, let's all be in agreement here. What is that? What is the Zara website? I don't know, but yeah, I finally braved going on there and I can't show you the boxes fully because I've got my address on them, but I have one box. I have two boxes basically, but I, I feel the need to show you two boxes. And yeah, I got a mixture of basics. I got some kind of transitional pieces and I also picked up their makeup. So I figured I wasn't gonna show this in the video because you guys are gonna see it in a testing video soon anyway, but yeah. Testing Zara makeup video coming very, very soon. And then what a right today, because I did this in, oh, we're just like jumping straight into the haul. But I basically ordered this the other night when I was drunk because I got a notification that the Red Temptation scent was back in stock. And this is apparently supposed to be really, really similar to Baccarat Rouge. And I've actually never tried Baccarat Rouge, but I have tried the Ariana Grande one. So I picked up two of these, um, which I don't really know why I did, or I do know why I did, it's because I had wine. But um, yeah, I like it. I do think I prefer the Ariana Grande one a bit more. I'm sure the Baccarat Rouge one is even more amazing, but it's also a lot more expensive. Um, it does smell very similar to Cloud by Ariana Grande, which I do bloody, bloody love, and yeah. Just wanted to let you know, it's back in stock if any of you guys want to check it out. So let's get into the clothes. I honestly didn't think I bought this much, but apparently I did. So the first thing I'll show you guys is actually the top that I'm wearing right now. If you can see my sweatpants, ignore them. You all know the drill with YouTubers. Like we're done from like here upwards, but like down here, I've got socks with sloths on. It's probably not that on brand for Zara. But yeah, I just popped on this top that I ordered. It's still got the tags on it. And this was, I think it's like 11 pounds or something. This was 11.99 and I got it in a size small. I think I ordered pretty much everything in a size small. But yeah, I like it. It's just a nice standard basic really. There's not really too much to say. I love this kind of style of top anyway. It's got a nice crop. It's not too short, not too long. And yeah, it's like a nice sort of, Almost like a fine knit material and you know, let's talk about the boobs quickly. I have nipple piercings and you can't really see anything. So that's just a heads up. It's not like sheer or anything like that. But yeah, I just picked that up as a little basic just because I don't really have too many brown clothing items in my wardrobe, but I actually do really like brown on me. So yeah, pick that up and I like it. Let me know what you think. So next, I'm just gonna dig in and dive in and just see what we come out with. I got this denim jacket because I have a really baggy denim jacket and I have some really tight ones but I don't have just like a nice oversized one and this is actually really, really nice quality. I wanna see how much it costs me. Uh, 29 quid, 29.99, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Like the quality is really, really nice. I've seen some of like the Balenciaga jackets and all that and the quality doesn't look that much different, let's be real here. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I'll be sure to insert cutaways and everything so you guys can see how everything looks. I think that's really, really nice. It's got a nice little crop to it, but not too much. And I got this in a size small as well. I feel like I maybe could have even gone for a medium because it did say on the website that it was oversized, but I like things to be like really oversized. But when it's on, I actually feel like it'll probably fit quite well. It's got slightly wider sleeves, which again is a nice touch. I don't like it when the arms are too tight. This is just nice and baggy. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I also picked up a pair of ripped jeans. I love a baggy ripped jean and the ones that I have from Pretty Little Thing and they're so nice. They're like constantly out of stock though, but they are like, the rips are getting so big to the point that when I put them on, sometimes my entire thigh just like goes through the hole, which like, you know, I, I feel like I'm gonna have to say goodbye to them at some point in the future. But yeah, these are just the wide leg Zara jeans and these set me back, let's have a little look. These set me back 30 quids, which I think is a pretty good price. And I got these in a size 36, which is a UK eight. I find it so difficult to find a good pair of baggy jeans, but these, these look pretty good. They're really, really wide, which I like, because then you have the slouch. The main thing that I find a little bit tricky when I'm buying baggier jeans is I want them to be baggy on my legs, but I want the waist to be nice and tight, and these actually look 
Again, I'll show you guys my cutaways so you'll see before me, but these do look pretty good because they are really, really nice and baggy, but they're still kind of fitted around the waist and around the bum. They're already a little bit distressed as well, as you might be able to see on the pockets. There's like a little bit of distressing around here and the rips in the jeans are a lot smaller than the ones in my Pretty Little Thing ones. And again, they look like actual rips. They're not just like, you know, the really bad rips you can get sometimes in jeans that just, it just looks bad. These look like, you know, I've maybe worn them a little bit too much and they're starting to fray which is the kind of look that I want and you've got another rip on the other side as well and again another little detail they're not the rips aren't the same which I also really appreciate so yeah looking forward to trying those on I got another little basic from Zara as well this is super super simple but I wear these sort of tops all the time and this was six pounds like I actually might buy a few more of these to be honest. It looks tiny, but it's very, very stretchy. And I got this in a size small as well, but obviously, like I said, it does stretch and it's just a standard straight across skinny little strap top, very 90s, very my thing. And yeah, just something I can wear with anything really. I can wear it like on its own with a pair of jeans. I can wear it as like layering up pieces. I find that this sort of basic top, you will always see me in them. I can wear it like just with a pair of jeans or I can wear it under a loose shirt or over the top of certain things, like over the top of a long sleeve or whatever. I feel like things like this. You can never go wrong with a basic like this. And yeah, six quids. And it's, it's really good quality as well, like the material's nice and thick. So I think I'll probably pick up more of them. Oh my God, I can't believe how much I bought. I, did I actually buy all this? Next is just another basic, because honestly, I feel like you can never have too many basics. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, actually. I've got a lot of long sleeves. I've got a lot of crop tops, but not together. So this was $17.99, and again, got this in a size small. The crop seems quite short. Like, if I show you guys here it i'm kind of thinking like are my boobs gonna poke out underneath there i haven't got very big boobs these days but like they're that could pop out that could be a situation but i'll try it on in a second but yeah i thought again this baggy jeans i like to wear the same sort of clothes most days like if you'll ever see me out and about running errands i'm always wearing like the same sort of outfit a strappy top or like a crop top sort of thing baggy jeans or baggy sweatpants and probably like a leather jacket. I always wear stuff like that. And so I figured I still want to be wearing that in the winter, but like, let's just pop a long sleeve on. Be so toasty, so warm with my stomach just hanging out. But yeah, hopefully this isn't too short. If it's like really, really short, then it could also work as like, like wearing it with this top. Do you know what I mean? Like some people wear them as like arm warmers and stuff. That might work. I'm actually now just kind of looking at it like, is that what it's supposed to be? The more that I look at this, the more that I think it's maybe just like one of those arm warmer type things. You know how like it's on trends to literally just wear like tops here. I feel like, I feel like I actually just ordered one of those tops. I don't, I can't remember if I meant to do that or not, but either way, we'll see. The next thing I picked up is something that's a little bit different for me. I don't normally tend to wear this kind of thing, but I want to. So these are $19.99 and I guess the best way to describe these are just flared leggings, kind of. They're like slightly flared. There's a slit right at the bottom that does make them look a lot more flared. And I figured these just with like a nice pair of trainers. I've got like my Nike, I forget what they're called, but they're like quite big, chunky white trainers. These leggings, those shoes, and again, just like a big jacket or something, I feel like could work. For me, I find that leggings just typically aren't flattering on me, unless they're like gym leggings. I I never go there. But these are kind of like a legging, jegging, trouser kind of situation. Like they literally, they have little fake pockets at the back, which I appreciate because, you know, there might not be as much VPL there. There's a little bit of stretch to them, unlike standard leggings, which again, hopefully will mean they're a lot more flattering. Um, but yeah, I figured I wanted to get basics because I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come out here and suddenly like, wear a ball gown every single day or wear like the most craziest pattern combination you'll ever see. Although I do need to show you something in a minute that is kind of like that. But like, I just like my basics. I could try and push the boat out a little bit, but I just like my basics. So I figured switch up the basics. This is me like going out of my comfort zone, okay? <laughs> Actually no, okay, this is me going out of my comfort zone. So when I was just saying, I don't normally go for like crazy patterns, I saw these and I just kind of fell in love a little bit. So again, all the links for everything will be down below. These stepped me back 20 quids and they're these flared knitted trousers and I'm actually so obsessed with them. Close up, 
they don't look as effective as they maybe look from afar just because of obviously the pattern and everything. But yeah, like from afar in the viewfinder, this is exactly what I was after. And the material is really, really nice and thick. It's like a slightly more knitted material. And let's just double check. Doesn't seem to be see-through or anything like that. Obviously, I think the pattern and everything will help cover up any see-throughness. And they're also not too high-waisted. Like, don't get me wrong. I am not about the low-rise jean. I would love to be about that, but my stomach just says no. But I sometimes find that my body is so short that whenever I wear just like a mid-rise, it I can pretty much tuck my tits into it. So this actually seems quite good. It's not too high, not too short, covers the belly a little bit, so... Yeah, I was like, as soon as I opened up the box, I was like, oh my God, yeah, I got those things. But I like these a lot. Let me know what you guys think. I really like these. So here's me saying that I'm not really into leggings, but we have another pair of leggings. And these were $17.99 and I got them in a size extra small, too small. They feel nice. They feel nice and thick. They're again, like a nice knitted material. And wait a minute. I'm like checking them against my leg length because I've got surprisingly long legs for some of my height. I feel like they're maybe gonna be a little bit more cropped than maybe I expected them to be, but my plan for this was to wear it like with a basic top, maybe even with this top to be honest, and then have like white shoes, white socks. The white socks are like pulled up around your ankles, bunched up a little bit. Um, so that's not a problem for me. But yeah, I'm literally always in sweatpants and I don't wanna say goodbye to the comfort, but I also don't just wanna look like a sack of potatoes all the time. So I figured if I get something that's like tight sweatpants, aka leggings, then it's kind of like a best of both worlds. Um, but yeah, these actually look like really good quality. And again, very, very stretchy, but they don't, let's have a little look. They don't really seem to be too sheer. These are also apparently part of the Limitless Contour Collection, which I've heard a lot of good things about. Um, and yeah, the quality seems really, really nice. So I never thought I would say this, but I'm looking forward to trying on these leggings. Okay, now I feel like we're getting to the really fun stuff. Like these are the things that I was really excited for. Next, oh my God. Okay, I saw this top and obviously it looks amazing on the model because what doesn't, but look, I thought this was so nice. And the way it sort of drapes down once it's on, it kind of drapes down at the front and then at the back, it's gonna be tricky for me to show you. But at the back, it's almost completely bare. You've just got a strap going down the back in the middle and then a little bit of material at the bottom with a split. I just saw this on the website and I was like, that is like the epitome of a jeans and a nice top top. Like this, some skinny jeans, some baggy jeans, whatever, some nice little heels, I'm obsessed with it. And I don't think I said the price, but that was $19.99. Next is probably my most favorite thing that I've ordered. I love these bags and it's so weird because it's not my style at all, but I am obsessed. I'm just like a magpie, I like see something sparkly and I'm like, oh, okay, gimme. But yeah, look at this bag. <laughs> it's insane. It's like a rhinestone-y effect. And this was 50 quid. So it's a little bit more up there in price, but I have been eyeing up the Prada one for so, so long. And this is, <laughs> even though it's 50 quid, it is a whole lot cheaper than the Prada one. And I just love it. It's got like a little twisted strap and it's just a little bit different to a lot of the other ones I've been seeing. I've been seeing a lot of them that are just like the bag like this, but then like a plain black strap or like a chain strap or something. It's quite roomy as well, actually. You could probably fit quite a lot in there to be fair, but yeah, I love it. I. I'm obsessed. I'm so into it. Like imagine these two together. I'll be like a little sparkling angel, but yeah, love this bag. Love these bags in general. And obviously you've got like Christmas and New Year's and stuff coming up. So I think I'll be getting a lot of use out of this. I love it. I then got another bag because again, I had like an outfit in mind for this, but I don't know what I think about it. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more slouchy. So the reason I was drawn to this bag is because of the big fat chain. You guys know, I normally stay away from like gold hardware. I just like silver, but something about this just drew me to it. And again, I kind of figured this top, this bag, and one other thing that I'll show you guys in a second, with some leggings, with some like chunky boots or something, I feel like it'll be a really, really cute, just casual autumn winter sort of outfit. So I'll try it on. I don't know, I feel like it's just, I feel like it's one of those things that will probably look good on so many people. I'm just not sure 
if I'm one of those people, because it is quite big. It's literally like the size of my torso. It's a nice bag though, like it's nice quality. You can obviously take off the strap as well and use it as a clutch. It's got little pockets in there. It's very, very roomy and it was only 30 quid. So yeah, I think the bag itself is nice. I'm just kind of like, will it suit me? Will I wear it? Will I like it? I'll have to like try on the outfit and see what I think. So last but not least is the final missing piece of that whole little autumnal outfit puzzle that I was like making in my head. I got this gilet and this was a little bit more pricey. This was 50 quid. I got it in a size small and I'm not opposed to a gilet, but it's not something that I tend to really wear. But again, I kind of figured hair in a ponytail, because now that my extensions are done, it's not looking super ratty. Hair in a ponytail, sunglasses, this top, maybe the other leggings, maybe this bag. Like, do you guys kind of see where I'm going with this? I'm trying to look, I'm trying to look like I've got my life together while still being comfy, but like, I don't know. I don't really feel like the bag's a vibe for me. I feel like it's maybe a little bit much. But yeah, this is the gilet or the body warmer, whatever you want to call it. And it's so funny because it's cropped, but my body is so short that it's actually kind of like down to my bum. So yeah, definitely glad I went for the crop one as opposed to the regular one because I've got like another one on there that's a little bit longer. But yeah, like this with my hair in a little pony or like a high pony, I don't know. Looking at it in the viewfinder, it's like, would I rather have this or would I rather have 50 quid? Probably rather have 50 quid, but I do feel like once I've got the whole outfit on, it will sort of bring it all together. Nice material, it's kind of like a faux leather material, it doesn't have any smell or anything like that. And it zips up at the front as well. I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe and I've got a lot of jackets, a lot of black jackets. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm gonna sort of sit and think about this one and like try it on with a few other outfits because I feel like this just paired with a bunch of basics could really kind of level up those basics a little bit. I don't know guys, what do you think? Like, I like it, it's comfy. I'm just kind of like, will I wear this? Will I literally just wear it for this one outfit or will I actually wear it with other stuff as well? Cause I wanna kind of stop having so many just like trend pieces and little like random things. I wanna make sure that a lot of my wardrobe all sort of goes together. So as long as this goes with some other things I already own, I'll probably keep it. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm gonna insert like a cutaway of the little outfit that I have in mind. But um, yeah, I don't know. I never wear anything like this. So let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys, that is it from me today. Just a nice casual little Zara haul. Let me know if you want me to do more clothing hauls. Like I said, I'm not just gonna be picking up any random things here and there. But if I do go on like a little bit of a spending spree again at any point, then I can always show you guys. Let me know what your favorite thing was I picked out today. I feel like mine has just gotta be this bag. I just freaking love it. Like actually, that's kind of like the question that I want you guys to answer in the comments. Do you like this bag? Or do you think it's absolutely hideous? Like, I promise neither one of us will be offended because the bag's an inanimate object and I'm soulless. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of everything that I picked out today. And if you have any other video requests, make sure you leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.